what's going on YouTube, username Kite562 here, and I have another episode for you of Tentacle Tales of Terror, and it's episode 21, the facts concerning the late Arthur Germain and his family. Now, again, this series, as many times before, is my journey through H.P. Lovecraft as I document my thoughts throughout an audio format, so sit back, relax, and listen to what I have to say about the facts concerning the late Arthur Germain and his family. So, as it starts out, Arthur Germain is a man from a line of successful men. Arthur's great-grandfather was an anthropologist named Robert Germain, or Germain, however you want to say it, and his great-great-grandfather, Sir Wade Germain, was the first of many explorers of the Congo region and published a book called The Observations on the Several Parts of Africa. So for a side note, there's also a hint of horror to the origins on why Arthur looks so grotesque, which took me a few times to search and examine the story, but overall it was kind of hinting at how Lovecraft was being treated by his mother, mainly being hidden away because he was ugly, apparently, and I'm saying that with air quotes around them. So, yeah, if you want more details on H.P. Lovecraft's life as a child, I highly recommend I Am Providence, Parts 1 and 2. I haven't read it yet myself, but it's by S.T. Joshi, so definitely check it out when you can. And I have to say, my favorite quote from this story is, Science already oppressive with its shocking revelations will perhaps be the ultimate exterminator of the human species. If separate species we be, for its reserve of unguessed horrors could never be born by mortal brains, if loosed upon the world. The facts concerning the late Arthur Germain and his family. And I think this was from page one. Yeah, page one of this story was like 100 or something. It's like I'm still in the hundreds of this book. So for point number two of this story, in 1765, Sir Wade was put into a madhouse called Huntingdon. So as the story goes on, the theme of madness really concerns the Germain family, mainly on the male side of things, which I thought was really fascinating as a whole. So, for point number four, for the late Arthur Germain, his ashes are then gathered into an urn and left surrounded by some papers. Now, I wrote this down because it was just, it was just really interesting for me as a whole, just all in all. And I have to say, for the final fact, or number five for that matter, Arthur Germain is the son of Alfred Germain and a music hall singer of unknown origin, which would be his mother. And according to chapter two, page 126 of this story, so, my final thoughts, a really solid supernatural tragedy for this story, in my opinion, the clash between the Germain family line being successful then slowly stricken with madness, from Arthur's point of view, is as if it was better that he never existed since his physical features were rather grotesque, something along the lines of Planet of the Apes, if you've ever seen that movie, the original version. Just saying, it's pretty great. It's one of those kind of situations. Since his physical features were rather grotesque and monstrous from what I've read, even though he loved to learn and was highly intelligent. And so that's for episode 21 of Tentacle Tales of Terror. The case of the, or the facts concerning the late Arthur Germain and his family was a really solid and enjoyable experience for me as a whole. And again, as always, thank you all for subscribing to this channel. So this is Kite562 signing out. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day, everybody. Later.